to continue on, we're going to keep talking about shutter priority mode. Last video we talked about aperture priority, now we're going to move on. So there are specific instances that I can think of where the shutter speed is really important to capture a certain shot. One is night photography, second is sports photography or action photos. Because with night photography, the slower the shutter, the more we're able to capture those night lights. Okay. With action photos, the faster the shutter speed, the more we can freeze that action and stop it in its tracks. That's where it's important and that's why I think we have shutter priority is so that we can control when we get those shots. But to be completely candid, and I have to be candid, none of these pictures that I just mentioned are ones that I would run to the shutter priority mode to take. It's just how it is. So I would use manual mode or aperture priority mode, preferably, than shutter priority mode. So I'm not going to recommend that, especially since the last video and I just said aperture priority is a good one to use all the time. So with that in mind, let me just show you a couple of pictures of where the shutter speed is important. Like I said, night, photo night photography and action photos. So here's a picture of a night shot. And you can see that as we look through this, the longer the shutter speeds open, the more those lights begin to glow and just detail starts to filter into the picture, the longer that shutter speed is open. And let's look at an action shot. This is a water drop that we took. And this water drop, with using flash, we were able to capture this crowning moment. Okay, but we wouldn't be able to do that if we were using a slow shutter speed. So in our exposure triangle, first we had aperture, now we have shutter, and then last we have ISO. But let's talk about shutter, okay? After we've determined the amount of detail that we want in our pictures, okay, do we want a, a little bit of detail or do we want a lot of detail? Okay, now we're going to determine, is the subject we're photographing moving? Is it stationary? What is it? because that's gonna determine how fast the shutter needs to be in order for us to get this shot, okay? With action photos, I might want a blurry background, but I want the action to be frozen. So I could have my low f-stop, but then I'm gonna crank up my shutter speed. So it's a little faster, but if it's still a little too dark, that's when we come into the ISO last. So keep that in mind, this is a thought process of how you're going to expose for your pictures in any situation, okay, using the exposure triangle. Now let's go on and let's talk about ISO.